Albuquerque police say three teenagers violently beat two homeless men to death while they were sleeping in a vacant lot. Police say the teens used sticks and cinder blocks to attack the men for more than 20 minutes. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer is live at Central and 60th where it happened. Mike. In this criminal complaint right here, one of the teens actually admits to police that they've attacked more than 50 homeless people in the city in just the past year. He goes on to say this is the furthest they've ever taken one of those attacks. 18-year-old Alex Rios is facing two open counts of murder. From Sky 7, you can see where Albuquerque police say Rios, along with 15-year-old Gilbert Tafoya and 16-year-old Nathan Carrillo, beat two homeless men to death inside this empty Northwest Albuquerque lot near Central and 60th Northwest. It's so graphic and so disturbing by such young people. It's just unbelievable. In this criminal complaint, the teens tell police they saw three men sleeping on a mattress and decided to beat and rob them. Police say the teens used sticks and bricks to beat the men. The only survivor tells police he awoke to find several people beating and kicking him, but he was able to run away and escape. Each boy blames the attack on the other. One told investigators when he looked at himself in the mirror afterwards, he says he saw the devil. The people who live out here in our homeless cells are not surprised to hear about this attack. In fact, they tell us when they're out here, they're pretty vulnerable and easy targets for anybody that may want to harm them. That's why they tell us they have to be careful when they sleep. Find you a place to sleep before it gets dark where nobody knows where you're at. <laughs> Hide out good. Because when you're asleep, that's when you're most vulnerable. And police say that because of those claims that teenager made, they're going to be looking at other attacks here in the city against the homeless to see if the teens played any role in those. Reporting in Northwest Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News. Rios is in custody right now at MDC. A search of online court records did not turn up any prior felony arrests on Rios. The other two are being held at the juvenile detention center. 